Hey, it's Mini Chocobo, and this is my data from 300 individual limpet root plants. I decided to do 20 full runs of normal compost, super compost, and ultra compost, and logged every single one as well as the deaths. And so I'm going to go ahead and have spreadsheets to those after this clip. Down in the description, I will have a timestamp for each section as well as it will be in the comment section and those will be clickable hyperlinks so you can just go ahead and skip to whatever section you like. After the Excel spreadsheets in the next section you will be able to skip forward to see the normal super and ultra compost data analysis as well as a section for profit if you are a main account looking to do this to make some extra money. I'm going to get into the video now. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video. So this is how I organized my data as well as collected it. I highlighted all of the dead plants in red which would just be the zeros and I went ahead and did 20 normal compost runs followed by 20 super and 20 ultra. All of the sum or totals, I guess, are auto summed, so it's just the the vertical lines. Each one of these run numbers is just whatever run it was, which equals 100 total plants. Something to note is that my data analysis, I decided to use a different program. It's a little bit better to look at, and also it is way easier to use for me personally. So, and that, that's Stata, and I'll show you guys that in a moment. Um, one last comment, I did misspell Super and Ultra Compost in the next section, so that is spelled wrong. It is one word, just like this, but I, but I had it as two, so hope you guys can forgive me for that. Let's get into the data, though, for Normal Compost. So I went ahead and did the data analysis in Stata for normal compost, and I went ahead and copy and pasted that into a Word document just so it'd be a little bit easier to look at. I want to go ahead and go through each variable at least one time in this video just for the record, and I'll go ahead and explain each variable. So the first variable would be the minimums, and that is just the lowest number of limpet roots I ever received from any given farm run at that specific patch. So at the Artie patch, the minimum I received was zero, and if you see a zero here, that means there was a death, and that's why you got zero. For the Zia patch, it is impossible to have a death if you are above 50% Hosidia's favor, which is why I have a minimum of three here. The maximum is just the most you ever I, I ever received from a single run, and that was 12. This is a very hard number to achieve with normal compost. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. Also, the maximum total I received at one point from a normal compost run was 41, and the minimum was 12. So this would be the minimum amount I received from one run of five patches, and this would be the maximum I received from these five patches with normal compost. You can see the total, which was in the slide before this, down here. And that is 513 limpet roots for 100 plants. And the average of that would be around 25.65. So that's how you can kind of comprehend this. The main thing I want to look at are the means for each farming patch. Zia will always be very high compared to the rest of these numbers simply because it can't die. When it comes to limpet roots in general, I have found that deaths are the only thing that really dictate your total yield. This is something I will repeat in this video because I think it is actually 100% the dictator of total yield rather than the type of compost you use for yield. Mauritania was low here. This must have just been from only doing 20 Mauritania patches. I imagine it would probably be closer to 4.5 to 4.9 in this range, and then Catherby would go down. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at the deaths. Normal compost seemed to have the most deaths with a total of 26 of my 100. So that means that only 74 of my plants survived. Um, this I kind of expected just because normal compost is not nearly as efficient as super and ultra compost. But I definitely did notice a lot of deaths. 
uh, associated with limp root roots overall. It is definitely more prevalent than in the herbs. Also, the maximum plants I had die in a single run was three, as you can see here, and the minimum I had was zero. And that would be an average of 1.3 plants per run dying. Let's go ahead and move into the super compost now. So I went ahead and calculated the summary statistics for super compost, and it was definitely the biggest change in terms of compost and yields used. So the main difference was the almost 200 increase in total limpert roots collected. I think it went from 531 to 698, which is just a massive change, especially for Ironman, and uh, definitely would be worth upgrading from that normal to super compost if you aren't already using super compost or ultra compost. But um, the biggest interesting number for me on here was the fact that Catherby was actually outweighed by the Mornitania. And this shows me that probably the average for 99 farming collected on limpert roots would be around 6.75. If you notice 6.85 and 6.7 both converge to 6.75. So I have a feeling this is the average. Zia will never be close to this number because Zia cannot have a minimum of zero because Zia can't die, as explained in the normal compost. So let's go ahead and look at the average total. So per run with super compost, I averaged 34.9, and that's pretty good. So uh, not bad at all, and that includes with the deaths. So I would definitely be comfortable using super compost. Let's go ahead and look at the amount of deaths now as I scroll down here. So the number of deaths would be a total of 12. And that means I managed to have 88 of my 100 seeds survive. And that's pretty good. Only an average of 0.6 uh, deaths per run, which means there were a lot of runs that had zero. And also... Unfortunately, some runs I was very unlucky and had a maximum of three die in a single run, and that would definitely be my minimum yield per run is the one that had three die, which is unfortunate, but it does happen. So the interesting part of this video for me was weighing ultra compost versus super compost. Ultra compost being a lot harder for Ironman to collect than super compost and also the price being double for a main account, it almost seems to be not worth it. I'll go over this more in my profit section of this video, but I just wanted to point out that the total amount of collected limpert roots was barely more than the super compost. The average for the Zia patch using ultra compost was less than both the super and normal compost, which is why it leads me to conclude that your compost does not matter for total output yields yielded. It's literally just for the survival rate of the plant. That is something that I don't think is true for herbs, and definitely I did not expect this to be a thing. With the survival rates being so great for ultra compost, I would expect these numbers to all converge around 7.35 or so, and that's just because the Zia patch tends to always be closer to that. The ultra, the super compost had an 8.35 at Zia, but given another couple hundred runs, I'd imagine this number would be the magic number that you would see. I will go ahead and note that I plan on doing another 300 total runs of ultra and super compost just to finalize this data. And I'll go ahead and have a Google spreadsheet that I will update live every day just to con find these conclusions and if i find something drastically different i will go ahead and upload a second video on this so anyways you can see the average total was 35 uh, per run which is pretty good and the minimum was actually pretty low I, I had a minimum run of 22 and a max of only 45. if we scroll down to deaths that was the big difference for me it's almost half the deaths of super compost, but that is only five less than super compost. And since limpert root seeds are so cheap, it's almost, in my opinion, not worth using. As I said before, I'll go more into this uh, in the profit section of this video. Something that is kind of interesting to me is that the maximum number of deaths per run 
was only one, and a lot of runs had zero. Only one in every three runs even had a dead limpwort root at all. So that leads me to conclude that if I were to continue doing observations, you'd see the, the skew of the ultra compost greatly outweighing the super compost in the long run. For Iron Man, I would still say it's probably worth using ultra compost if it's easy for you to get. If you don't like collecting ash, then definitely stick to super. So I went ahead and calculated the total profits using current prices from November 30th of 2018. And that would be the total limpwort root price here. So 513 limpwort roots times the price of 636. And that came out to be this number, 326,268. And then subtracting the normal compost plus the limpwort root seed price times 100 for each of these. And I added these and then subtracted that from this. So when you add these two numbers together for the price of normal compost at 2500 and this at 13800 came out to be 16300 so you have to subtract that from your profit. I would like to note that there are no teleportation fees in here, so no law runes or anything like that. You would want to add that into your cost if you are doing this to the T, but for me, this is just the raw farming cost. So for the winner of the three, I would say Super Compost is the most profitable for a main account to use. You don't want to be using Ultra Compost because Ultra Compost is just too expensive for this crop. It will never make up, even if I were to do another 300 runs, I don't think you could ever rejuvenate the difference in this, this profit. So you're always better off using Super Compost, and you'll see that just from the big hefty cost here. You'll see that the Ultra Compost was 163,000 gold for just all 100, which is more than, than <laughs> that's 10 times, almost 10 times as much. It is a little bit over 10 times as much as the normal compost. So TLDR, if you are farming these for profit, stick to Super Compost because that is how you will make the most money. Last but not least, I wanted to add a little section just for the experience gained. So I'm going to just dive into the different EXP breakdowns here. So the first is whenever you use a normal compost, you gain 18 farming experience times 100 patches. That's going to be 1,800. For planting the limpwort root itself, you get 21.5 experience. So multiply that by 100 because you'll do that 100 times. And then the third variable, which is the only variable which can change, is the amount you actually are able to harvest and this is where the death rate will come in a little bit more so since the normal compost had the most deaths i can only put in 74 successful picks of the 120 experience lipwort root after doing that you get a total of 12,830 experience and then i did the same thing for the super and ultra and you can go ahead and pause here if you want to look at these numbers but you can see the different experience and it's really not that great but if you are trying to gain farming experience obviously ultra compost is still going to gain you the most but um, still like I said you probably want to look more towards this number if you are interested in picking limpwort roots uh, for some extra GP. So I'm going to go ahead and have my own little personal opinion here and that is for Ironman I still think ultra compost outweighs super. Because limpert root seeds, although they're not that hard to find, it's still not that bad for an Iron Man to get that ultra compost. Most of you probably have some stocked up from doing hundreds of herb runs anyways, so getting a couple extra definitely won't hurt. If you are a lower level Iron Man though, and you really need to make some super strengths, I would definitely still get super compost over normal compost. Uh, I have a video on my channel for collecting pineapples really fast and that's how you can easily get some super compost if you don't already have some for main accounts i would definitely stick to using super compost for limpert roots you will make a lot more profit and it really doesn't change the output of or the yield of the limpert roots enough to matter for a main account i will go ahead and close this video now and i just wanted to mention that i do happen to make hardcore iron man progress videos and you should subscribe if you would, are interested in those, and I'd greatly appreciate that.
And I apologize if this section seemed a little bit drawn out. I wanted to make sure I addressed every single point possible. And I went and explained every single piece of data. Like I said, there will be a Google document in the description as well as timestamps. So if you want to rewind and go back to those, you can go ahead and do that. And when you want to decide what type of compost you're using or if limpet root farming is for you. Thank you again for watching and have a awesome day.